Welcome to another edition of Yes, We're Here, NYC edition today, because we have got Ismail Tajuri Shradi, one of the NYCFC stars, joining us on the show. Ismail, first and foremost, how are you doing? How are you coping through this difficult time? First of all, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm doing very well, actually, after these tough times, but yeah, keep me busy. Feel really good, and uh, yeah, let's see what's, how long it's going to take, but we are in good hands so let's see it's very difficult for anybody going through this but how difficult is it for an athlete i mean you've just gone through preseason. you're at peak fitness everything's just started in the major league soccer season and then pause complete stop how is that for an athlete i think how you said yeah for for, for an athlete it's really actually really tough because you come just you came from the preseason, uh, very hard preseason after a couple of weeks of traveling of a very good work with the team, uh, with the whole squad. Uh, and then you just get, get in the games where you was waiting for it. Yeah, after a few games, uh, you, we, get, uh, we get to stop again. It's very hard for me, for every player, I think, but it is what it is. We have to take it uh, like everyone. We have to deal with this situation right now. And yeah, to keep us uh, busy, to keep us fit at home, to, to go through this and to get back as soon as possible, hopefully. So you're on a specific training program from the club right now? Of course, yeah. We get every uh, week by week a uh, plan from our athletic coach and we, we have to go through this training. And uh, that was uh, that what I'm doing right now to keep me fit. And when we get back to the training to, to be fit as, as we can. Let's get into the business here. Okay, you're born in Switzerland. You grew up in Austria and you play for Libya, the national team. Like, what was behind the decision? I mean, you could have played for any one of those countries in the professional soccer and the international stage. Like, what was behind the decision to go for Libya? I think, how we say it, yeah, I had a lot of uh, burn in Swiss, grew up in Austria. Uh, my parents, my family is from Libya. Uh, yeah, the decision was, I think, is, uh, was an easy decision for me because uh, my always the dream to play for my national for my nationality and this is uh, Libya and uh, yeah from the family uh, family side they was very happy that I decided to play for Libya and think is uh, is uh, for me the the right uh, the right decision to play for the national team of Libya and I'm very proud to to play for this national team and hopefully we can have more more uh, positive things coming in the next few years how was the experience for you playing? Obviously, you played at a very high level in Austria. How was that experience for you, obviously, growing up there, then playing you know, at the, the top level? Yeah, I said, I said I came from Libya to Austria, and then I just grew up in Austria. Uh, when I was a young kid, I played for a smaller team. It's called Fortuna. Fortuna. Mm -hmm. After one year, I, came, uh, I transferred to uh, Austria, Vienna. It's one of the big clubs in Austria. And yeah, from there I go from all the way up from the academy, from the young under 12, under to the academy, from the academy to the second team, second team to the first team. Yeah, uh, I go all through the through the through the ages, and yeah, I just uh, just happy about it to to get through the the all the old teams. What is not, of course, not easy, but yeah. yeah. This was keep me going every day, and then yeah, the just I was happy when I get my uh, first minutes in the professional uh, soccer. Professional, mm -hmm. uh, it just was amazing, and then I get after a couple of me, uh, of course, with Austria Vienna, I get uh, a loan with uh, Skol Alta. I was there yep. for uh, two and a half years. It was very important for me to get to get some steps really in the professional team to get more minutes than I had in Austria Vienna. And it was for, very important for me, for my career. So after that, I come back to Austria Vienna. I had a very, very, uh, very good uh, two years. We played two years in the row in the Europa League. We had a very good, uh, we came in the group stage. So it was a very good experience for me. And after yeah. that, I landed in New York City. So, yeah. I think you might know this through my broadcast. And of course, we, we have a, a good personal relationship as well. And you're one of my favorite players. And it's not just because of your ability. But we're happy to have you, of course, in New York City. And, and of course, throughout the broadcast, uh, I show my enthusiasm for how you play, the passion you show. Um, but why did you choose to come to New York and to play for NYCFC? 
uh, first of all, thanks. Appreciate that I, I am uh, one of your uh, <laughs> players. <laughs> you certainly um, are. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate. And yeah, so as was the decision was, I think uh, first, first of all, wasn't easy because you know coming from Europe uh, back uh, in America, you have no idea how was everything work. But and then when I hear very good things, of course, uh, and then I get uh, when I hear that okay, New York City. If he want me and uh, are very interested to to have me, so I was as was very easy decision to to just say okay, I want to, to make the next steps. I want to develop myself. I think this was the right decision. After two years, I'm here. I have I have to say this was the best decision I ever I ever make it. Well, we're certainly happy to have you. Now, I want to know something that a lot of people don't know about you. You speak English. You speak German. And what other languages do you speak? Yeah, I speak English, German, and Arabic. English, German, and Arabic. Okay, so yeah. I speak English, and ich kann auch ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen mit dir zusammen. Natürlich, Deutsch kann auch sprechen, Englisch, wie du willst. <laughs> so I can also speak a little Germany, uh, German because of my time in German, as you know. So I think that's maybe something the public now know about as well. What about something else that you've been doing during this difficult time where you're on lockdown? I mean, how are you filling your time? Are you reading books, watching movies, or are you getting creative? Uh, it's actually, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm keeping me busy with, how I say, with trainings. Uh, now I'm doing a lot of cooking a lot. That's the thing what I was never think I'm going to do it. So that's, that's how, I, how I keep me busy during my, the whole day at home. I'm cooking now every day, almost every day since uh, the lockdown. So yeah, it's going good, really good actually. I was not thinking that I'm very good cooker. So, but if I see what I cook in the last few days, last few weeks, is uh, just amazing. <laughs> it's an amazing new talent that you've discovered. I, I love that. What about something that you're missing from the game right now? Of course, the locker room and the training field is something that you would miss because it's day to day. But what about the game? Like, what do you miss most about not being able to play right now? It's actually very hard because you have your routine when you wake up. You go to, you have your routine. You go to the facility. You meet your uh, your teammates. You have fun with your teammates. You have uh, yeah. You will have a good session. So I miss all. Uh, I, miss, I miss all of this of trainings. I miss all my teammates to have uh, fun all together, and of course the games, uh, especially the home games in uh, front of our fans. Uh, I just miss it a lot. It's been now a long time. So yeah, I miss it. I hopefully we can we can come uh, come back as soon as possible. But now, right now, I think it's uh, just to is uh, football is right now not the first thing. Uh, so we have to take care of each other, and then uh, if it's everyone uh, take care of each other, stay healthy, and then after this tough time is gonna come uh, the best time. So we can't wait for that. And how I say, I just miss everything of training games uh home games uh so yeah let's see how long it's gonna take but it's gonna it's gonna come the good the good times as well i don't think i could have said it any better myself now there's a bit of breaking news just coming through i'm watching on social media nycfc will partner with the yankees or they have partnered with the yankees and will contribute a 1.4 million covid 19 disaster relief program for nycfc game day staff that's for breaking news for people who are watching on right now ismail tajuri shradi thank you so much um i've got mad respect for you for the person you are for the player that you are as well i personally can't wait to see you back out on the field thank you so much for joining us today Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for having me and appreciate your work. Keep it going and can't wait to see you all.